Shalom, shalom, Aki, miss your brother, hey, Yakanan. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Bashim, Makakwadash, Bavakatum. I'm going to give double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone who rule well and that taught me this truth. And salutations out there to the hopeful elect, the brothers that are putting this work diligently, sincerely, and truthfully. To you, I want to say shalom, okay? Today's lesson is going to be about just being consistent, okay? Because in this truth, in this walk, one of the most important things is about being consistent. All right, we know things happen in our daily life, all right, or well, we have no control over, all right? But I was speaking to the brothers that I lived with yesterday that uh, we have to be stern and we have to be more strict on being consistent in this truth. All right, whether that's going out, one, two, three, four, five days a week onto the highways and byways, or is that just putting up a video every day, okay? <coughs> All right, brothers, brothers definitely, I'm speaking about myself first and foremost, brothers definitely have time to put up a video a day, all right? 30 minutes, 20 minutes, 15 minutes, all right? We, we, we got that type of time to be doing that, especially... If we claim to be those men of the 144,000, we have to make sure we are making time for the Lord. We are making time for the lost sheep. Okay, because that is our most important job. First and foremost is to preach his word and to edify the lost sheep. Okay, that comes before anything in this world. Okay, so we have to be make sure that we are doing this diligently in consistency. And again, speaking about myself first and foremost, because that is something I have to get better at. Okay. Second Timothy 4 and 2, preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort, extort with all long suffering and doctrine. Okay, so it says, you know, preach the word. That's what we're supposed to do. Be, be instant in season, out of season, meaning when it's nice out, when it's cold out, when it's rainy out, when it's snowy out, when you don't feel like it. Okay, to repute, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Okay, so it, it, when it gets when it gets cold out, it, that ain't a chance to chill inside and just do vids. You still gotta go out to the highways and byways, man. Okay, in all types of weather, in all type of uh, 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 different situations and circumstances might come up, man. Okay, the brothers they be out there, you know, just lost just lost loved ones that, that week, you know, still going out. You know, brothers that might, that might not be feeling the best, they still go out. You know, brothers might have broke their arm or something might have happened. Brothers went out. All right. We have to think, hey, what will Yahweh Shai do, man? Will Yahweh Shai make this time to, to take it as an excuse and not to go out? Will Yahweh Shai suck it up and, and, and go and go out, man? All right? Uh, 1 Corinthians 15, 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Okay? So, you know, be steadfast. Okay, we can go into that word steadfast so everybody has an understanding of what that means. Okay, what, what steadfast means. Okay, it basically is, you know, resolutely or du dutifully firm and unwavering, loyal, faithful, committed, devoted, dedicated, dependable, reliable. Okay, these are the similar words, constant. Okay, firm, okay, determined, unwavering, okay, stout, okay, steady, okay, so, you know, basically just being consistent, being committed, this is what you love to do, you're committed to doing it, okay, unmovable, okay, always abounding in the work of the Lord, okay, and if we're doing vids every day, we're going to the house and barbers, then we are consistently in the spirit, man. Okay, because when you're doing these vids and you're doing going out to the house of hours, you're reading, you're watching videos, you're in the spirit, man. All right, that's that's one way to keep yourself in the spirit, to keep your mind focused on the kingdom, to keep your mind focused on, on, on the Lord, to keep your mind focused on the spiritual things. Okay, and to draw your flesh away, man. Okay. And it says that, you know, for as much you know that your labor is not in vain of the Lord. Everything we're doing is not in vain. You know, it's being counted as something. Okay, the Lord says he's coming back, you know, and what you what you sow is what you reap. And if we out here trying to sow to, that that we meant the Lord and the Lord willing, we're going to get a, a man of the Lord's reward. Okay, we're going to try and get that crown. Okay, that's what we should be fighting for. That's what we should be striving for. Okay. 
Uh, Luke 16, 13, no servant can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. And that's just a beautiful scripture because if you're so into this world, you can't be into this world and into the scriptures. You have to pick and choose. You know what I mean? Well, obviously, you have your worldly duties that you have to attain to, whether that's having a job, being a parent. Okay, doing other things in this world that we know we have to do because we are, you know, prisoners of war. That's not saying disobey those and di and disregard those. You still have to do, you know, your due diligence as a man on this earth. But don't forget your, your task as a man of the Lord as well. You know what I mean? It's that perfect balance. Right? You got to find that balance and be able to be, be able to do both. Be able to maneuver and do both. Okay? Don't get so caught up in, in making money and, and chasing your business and getting all this other stuff and, and cars and houses and you forget to do the work of the Lord. All right. Are you consistent with your daily work, but you're not consistent with your spiritual work? You know what I mean? You can go to work every day for Esau, nine to five. But when you come home, you don't got no time for the Lord. You know what I mean? Come on. We have to be better as that is men. And I'm speaking about myself first and foremost. All right, because I run a business and every day, you know, I'll be working like two to nine, two to ten. I work out, you know, wake up in the morning, work out. You know, I'll be kind of fatigued a little bit. And uh, some days I'll be like, I'll get to it tomorrow. Tomorrow, come out and get to it. Then tomorrow, then tomorrow, come out and get to it. And I'm only doing like three days a week, going out once a week. And I just feel like I can do better. As a man of the Lord that I want to be in a, in a position to be in, in the kingdom, I feel like I can do better as a man. And I'm going to push myself to do better. All right, I need to, I need that. Okay, I need it. Okay, so I'm gonna to try to push myself to do a vid every day. All right, if I'm not going out, I'm going been going out about once or twice a week. All right, so if I can go out twice a week and put up five vids a week, hey, to me that's that's great, man. All right, I'm gonna to try to be doing a vid or edification lesson every single day, especially as the elders commanded it, man. All right, so that's one thing I'm gonna take on myself and, and try to do better. Galatians six and nine, and let us now be weary and well doing. For in due season, we shall reap if we faint not. Okay? So, when the Lord come back to get them crowns and get them rewards back, hey, Lord willing, we, you know, we shall reap if we faint not. We shall get that reward if we continue staying diligent and keeping the faith and doing the work and, and not folding when the hard times come. All right? The Lord is going to reward his men. Okay? We go to Titus 2 and 7. In all things, shewing thyself a pattern of good works. A pattern. Now, when you got a pattern, it's a, it's it's basically showing consistency. Okay? It's showing diligency. Okay? And, and, and a pattern of good works. Okay? And doctrine, shewing uncorruptness, gravity, sincerity, sound speech that cannot be condemned, that he that is of the contrary part may be ashamed, having no evil thing to say of you. Okay, so just, just being consistent, okay, in this doctrine. All right, that can't be proven wrong, okay? We can go to Hebrews 10 and 23. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promised. Okay? Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering. Okay? Without wavering. I mean, without, without being swayed back and forth, without being one week consistent, the other week inconsistent, back to consistent, back to inconsistency. Okay? Be able to maintain that discipline and consistency that the Lord looks for in his men. Okay, gonna be a guy that goes hard one week, lays back, goes hard, lays back, lays like we gotta consistently go hard and continue to push this plow. Okay, we can't take your hand off. We have to, you know, keep pushing, man. All right, keep going, especially in these times being now, man. We should be more and more and more and more about the Lord as every day goes by, man. All right, we should be more and more and more in the Spirit as every day goes by. All right, we should be. Increasing in knowledge, increasing in faith, increasing in, in obedience, increasing in discipline. 
okay, increasing in the spirit, okay? And we know we are doing these things if we are always reading and being edified and teaching, okay? Because when you teach things, you have to learn things, okay? So if you're trying to learn or if you're trying to teach, you have to learn, all right? So that's a good thing as well, you know, always being edified, always reading, okay? So the church should say, blesses he that readeth, okay? So yeah, we like to watch videos and stuff by the elders, but also it's it's, it's important to read the words that you that that are that that are also being preached as well. You know what I mean? Uh, 2 Timothy 2.15, study to shew thyself approved unto Yahweh, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So study to show ourselves to prove unto Yahweh. All right. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Okay. Doing it right. Not making up our own breakdowns. Okay. Not going off of what we think. Okay, not assuming, but breaking down the scriptures, how they are meant to be broken down the correct way. Okay, 2 Peter 3.14. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that you look for such things, be diligent that you may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. And Lord willing, man, the Lord, we, we, we trying to be one of those men that the Lord blinks, or blinks, you know, or washes away all of our sins that we ever committed. Okay, that we be, that we be blameless. That we be those virgins. Okay. <laughs> Second Peter 1.10. Wherefore the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, ye shall never fall. Okay. Give diligence. Okay. To make your calling and election sure. Okay. We, we, we're trying to do the things the elect would do in this day. And what would they be doing? They would be doing the work. They would be occupied by the work. Okay, they would be in these scriptures all the time. They would be going out to the highways and byways. They would be around this truth and in this truth and in this gospel as much as possible, as much as they can. Okay. Okay, Philippians 3.14, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. So I press towards, didn't say pull away from, I'm going in reverse. We're pressing towards, that means we're pushing, we're going, we're just continuing to go forward and forward and forward and just apply pressure and just keep going and keep pushing. No matter how you feel, no matter if you don't want to do it, hey, man, we in the flesh, man. So it might be certain days where, you know, the flesh might not be up for it. Well, that's where discipline comes in. This is where knowing that you have a duty as a man of the Lord, okay? This is where the spirit overrides the flesh, man, okay? So, you know, it's just important to, in these later days, you know, we just had Passover. It's still in the week of, you know. Well, we can't eat, you know, no, no, no leavened bread, you know, no, no yeast, stuff like that. All right, everything got to be unleavened, okay? So, you know, we just basically went over our new year as Israelites. And, you know, hey, it's, it's time to kind of level up a little bit, man. If you was kind of bullshitting, you know, pick it up a little bit. You know, if you was kind of doing, you know, three, four visits a, a week, try to pick it up to like five, six. If you're going out once a week, try to go twice. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just trying to find a way, a way where you can increase as a man of the Lord. Trying to find a way where you can level up your spirit. Okay? It's not always about leveling up the flesh. You know? People in the world want to find ways they can get more money. Hey, find ways where you can get more, you know, spiritual currency as well. You know? Because this is our spiritual currency. Okay? Find ways you can get more edified. Find little things where you can get better at. Okay? That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to look at, you know, self-examination. And see what I can really become better at as a man of the Lord to help the sheep, you know, to help myself, you know, so that the Lord will look at me and be pleased. All right. So, you know, with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash, Bavakatum, 
I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstones who rule well, and that taught me this truth. And salutations out there to the hopeful elect, the brothers that are putting this work diligently, sincerely, and truthfully. To you, I want to say, Shalom.